Professional sales has changed, and that's because the buyer has never been more in the driver's seat. They're empowered with information and choice like never before. It's the way that we sell, more than what we sell, that really makes the difference. Although traditional skills and relationships still matter, it's the way that they're applied that really determines our success. Today's world is competitive, fast, and global. Graham Hawkins is the CEO of Sales Tribe, and he believes businesses have two challenges, sales and everything else. He's the author of the book, The Future of the Sales Profession, and he joins us now. Graeme, thanks for being here. Pleasure. You've been in professional selling for decades. Yes. How do you think professional selling is really changing? Oh, look, Tony, I believe um, sales, the role of the salesperson has changed now about as much as it possibly can. I keep saying about 180 degrees. Um, and it's changed fundamentally because of information parity. The role of the salesperson in 2018 and beyond is a vastly different role. Salespeople must become specialists now. They must have deep domain knowledge that can add value to the buyer. Otherwise, the buyer, why would the buyer spend you know, uh, half an hour of their time with them? We, we now are not the information giver anymore. Um, where we're having to you know, come up with unique commercial insights and educate the buyer in ways that they can't find themselves. So you know, if you think about it in the context of the, the salesperson, you've got to become a specialist. You know, I keep saying people have to be socially connected, digitally driven, they have to be mobile and they have to be specialists. So gone are the days of the generalist salesperson. Well, let me just go a little deeper on that. I find a lot of sellers seek to become specialists in what they're selling yeah. rather than seek to become specialists about the customer and the customer's world. What's yes. your perspective on that? Well, look, you, you're 100% right. Um, if you don't start with the buyer in mind, if you don't understand their challenges, their pains, their problems, um, you know, I call it the, the buyer journey mapping. So mapping what a, a typical buyer goes through in terms of the, the buying process and using that as your, your blueprint, if you like, for the sales process. You know, back when we were selling early days, it was all about the sales process. Of course, now it's about the buying journey and how do you help a buyer through the, the buying journey. So if selling is becoming more difficult, what's your advice to a seller on how they can be successful in an increasingly competitive environment for selling? So the skill sets that salespeople need in terms of being able to create the right narrative or the right message to get the buyer's attention. Um, even in a B2C context, we all have become really adept at blocking messages from vendors, haven't we? So that interruptive push selling that used to be the norm is, is no, no longer effective. So I think to your question, salespeople need to be able to um, craft the right message to get the buyer's attention, create an ongoing dialogue that adds value throughout the process so that the salesperson is in fact valued by the buyer. I find a lot of sellers are good at telling stories, but when they tell the story, they, the seller, are the hero of that story rather than the customer being yeah. the hero. What's, what, what, what's your point of view on that? Oh, look, everything has to be focused on the buyer. You know, it's no longer about the salesperson. It's no longer about our revenue attainment, our quota, our commissions. It's, you know, it's all about the lifetime customer value, and that means the journey well beyond that first sale. In the old days, it was really if the person's got the gift of the gab, yeah. then we thought they'd be great at, at selling. What do you think the key traits are today? Yeah, it's, it's an interesting question. Yeah, most of my uh, career has been the gift of the gab, the charismatic lone wolf, the quota smasher uh, out there in the field, you know, closing deals. But now it's more of an educator. You know, they're saying that, um, in fact, someone said recently that CIOs make a really good salesperson because their their understanding of techn technical problems, challenges, and, and business issues. Um, it's that introverted, almost uh, analytical type that can that can uh, sort of hone in on a, on a problem and and really give the buyer some value that way. So it's a very different profile. Thanks for joining us, Graeme. Fantastic, thank you.